Have you ever attempted to open a game and got bombarded with a window saying that you're missing some random DLL file that you have no knowledge of? Well today I'll be showing you guys how to find any of those DLLs for completely free. Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Gaming and Tech Productions, and today we'll be finding your missing DLL file and get your game back working. Now first you want to go to a website named DLLfiles.com. This is pretty much a website that holds any DLL file that you can think of, whether it is a rendering engine, whether it is a just some random file within a game that you're playing or application that you're playing that you are missing you should be able to find it here now one thing before we start i do want to say i'm pretty sure there are some dll's that are game specific meaning that those dll files are connected to those games for a reason because they hold data that is connected to that game meaning that if you get a dll file from this website it's going to be completely clean meaning that you won't have the data for your specific game or application within that dll file already meaning that it won't work if that is the case so first let's just say for instance i'm looking for opengeo.dll i'll search it and then i'll just look for it so as you guys can see right here opengeo.dll is a hfx opengeo rendering engine dll files like this you probably won't have issues with because it is a rendering engine dll so of course that won't be game specific but other ones might be game specific and to be honest you might not have that issue with any of your dll files but i'm pretty sure some people will so just keep in mind what i'm saying so all you need to do is click on it then scroll down and you will be able to find a download button now i'm not going to download these but i will later in this video show you guys where to put these files if you were to have this issue so just find the file download it and then go find the file that you downloaded have it in your downloads folder maybe in a folder that you create within the downloads folder and then make sure you know where it's at and then i will help you guys actually put it within your game files now once you have the dll file that you are missing you then want to go find the games files that you are missing that dll file at and you then want to just scan this folder and see what folders you have now one tip i will give you guys is the majority of the time you want to look for the folder that contains all of the dll files so let's say for instance i am using multiverses if you look through multiverses let's say i go to engine i go to binaries and i go to win64 you'll see that it has the eos sdk dash 164 dash shipping dot dll that is a dll file of course you also have the tbb dot dll that is also a dll file and this is a place where you will be able to find dll files or you can put your dll file at if this is where your dll file is but if you also look outside of the engines folder and you look for a folder either named after the game studio or the actual game itself this will also have a lot of good folders that might actually be helpful to you so the majority of the time if you open a folder and you're looking for where the XE file is or the DLLs you want to look at binaries win64 and as you guys can see this is a way better folder and contains a lot more DLL files so there's a lot of boost underscore atomic boost underscore chrono io streams program python rejects but the whole point of this is you want to find the folder that would actually contain this if you don't know where your dll file goes you could look at the error that it gives you the majority of the time it'll tell you it is missing a dll file at this specific folder but if that is not the case for you I guess you'll just have to do some experimenting. So for instance, if I am missing a opengeo.dll file for this game, I'll put one here. I'll also go back to my multiverses folder and I'll put it one inside the engine binaries 164 folder right here. And really anywhere else that you will find similar dll files at so the main thing that you want to do is you want to look for a folder that has dll files in it and then you just want to put your dll file that you are missing in that folder if you don't already know where you are missing the file at so let's say for instance the error says you are missing a dll file at multiverses binaries 164 d3 d12 then you would just take that file or that DLL file that you have and throw it into this folder, try to boot up your game. If it doesn't work, then you will just keep having to experiment and maybe that is not right. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you are having any other issues within Windows, make sure to comment those and I will help if I can.